Hi, I'm Bob Dickerson. I am the Executive Director of the Birmingham Business Resource Center. For the last 40 years or so of my career, I've been in the small business development and finance business. A lot of folks use this cliche that small businesses are the lifeblood of the economy. But it's actually not a cliche, it's actually true. They don't always get the headlines and they don't always get the help that they need and that they deserve. So I've dedicated my career to do my part to make sure that small businesses get treated like they were the big mega businesses that we hear about and read about and like to brag about because these businesses are so vital, so important, and so critical to our community's success. I am a devotee of A.G. Gaston, so I can always use his recommendations for success, but, but I'll just list a few. Uh, number one, knowledge. Uh, nothing beats knowledge. Uh, as a business owner, you've got to know what you're doing, and not only do you have to have superior knowledge, not average knowledge, superior knowledge, you've got to add to your knowledge base all the time. Uh, another one is energy. I I've rarely seen a successful business owner or a owner of a business that succeeds who's lazy, lethargic, you know, not motivated. So that's very important. And then there's, there's one other word that I'll use. It's that word savvy. It may be hard to define, but you know it when you see it. So small business owners, and I liken that to Gaston, have the kind of savvy to know to be in a certain place at a certain time with a certain person making a certain deal. And so all of those things are characteristics that I think are important to succeeding in business. In today's workplace, if you're not marketing, then you're not getting a message across to the people that need to buy your product and service. So that's important. You've got to understand the value of sales. So as a business owner, you've got to always be focused on creating revenue for your business because if you get sidetracked, on something that's not a revenue creator, then your competitors are eating your lunch. And by the way, you need to know who your competitors are. Because I think it's really important that as a business owner, we set goals for ourselves, number one. That's what business planning is. But it's not enough to just set the goals. We've got to have some check-ins, some midterm check-ins, some watermarks that we pass along the way to make sure that we are progressing toward our goals. So I'm just really an advocate of thinking ahead, determining where you wanna be, and then mapping out a strategy to get there, and then measuring along the way whether you're headed in the right direction. It's important that we grow small businesses, and obviously being black, I wanna grow black businesses. You know, we talk a lot about closing the racial wealth gap. Well. Successful business ownership is one of the ways to do it. And unless we have people that start, grow, and develop successful business enterprises, then we're gonna lag behind. So we've gotta make sure that we create a better business class. And what I mean by that is that we help people understand what it is to succeed and then put the things behind them, the ingredients, the contacts, the connections, the information to make sure they do that. I can't think of anything that's more rewarding than to be able to look back and say, I contributed to the development of my community by contributing to the startup growth and development of small businesses. If you're thinking about starting a business, then start to do your research. Start working on your plan. Uh, start assessing your personal characteristics that you're bringing to the business. Make sure that you have knowledge, uh, that you have passion, that you have the energy to make this work. And then go for it. Don't listen to the naysayers. Put some people around you that can help you and support you and criticize you. Make sure that you have the appropriate network, that you engage with the ecosystem, that you've assessed your credit worthiness and your ability to raise or borrow funds for your business. Make sure you understand your market. You understand how you're gonna uh, develop 
and gain a market share and that there's something out there for you, come and see us at the Birmingham Business Resource Center. Look me up, talk to me, and let me see if I can help you.